I looked online, where can I find a job that pays me $200 a day? That's what I typed in, $200 a day. First, first one that came up. <laughs> Welcome back boys. Now, self-improvement is a jungle. Now you can think of me as this gorilla. I'm gonna guide you through the jungle. I'm gonna be your guardian. I'm gonna show you exactly where to start in self-improvement because most likely you've watched a lot of YouTube videos. You've watched a lot of different content. You might even have bought courses, you've read books, but your life is still the same and you just can't figure it out. You are overwhelmed. You don't know where to start. What should you do first? What side business should you start? What way should you work out? I'm gonna simplify it for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly where to start. Now, the only thing you've gotta do for me is you've gotta promise you're not gonna move on throughout this list. You're not just gonna watch this video and then click onto another one. You're just gonna work through this list from start to end. That's all I want you to, to promise me right now is you're gonna work through this list. If you're gonna do that, comment below. Say, I promise you, Gorilla Jack, I'm gonna work through this list. I'm not going to just watch it and then move on like I've done a million times before. Just watch it and do it, okay? Otherwise, nothing's gonna get done if we don't take action. So now we've got that clear, let's get into the video. Number one, the first step to self-improvement. If you do not know where to start, if you're at ground zero, you're totally fucked, number one step is get in shape. You can get in shape anywhere in the world. You do not need money, you do not need fancy gyms, you do not need the supplements, you don't even need clothes. You look at the guys that come out of prison, fucking jacked. Guys that come out of fucking single cells that have just been in there on their own, doing press ups, handstand push ups all day long. You can get in shape no matter what your situation is and getting in shape strengthens the mind. When you walk around and you've got some biceps, you start to feel good. People start to notice you, start to treat you a little different. You don't get picked on so much. You start to be able to command a room a little bit more. Things start to go your way. You start to get the odd eye, the odd bit of attention from women. Being in shape, having a physical presence will change your life forever. So the first step, step one, is to get in shape. Now, this is how I recommend you do it if you've never been able to get in shape before, if you struggle with going to the gym. Number one, stop struggling with going to the gym. It's fucking simple go to the gym or do press ups on the floor at home. So we don't need to make this complicated. I would recommend you go five times a week for one hour, okay? That's your starting point. Five times a week for one hour for one week. Do that, cross it off your list. I'm gonna go same time, every day. Work out for one hour and then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do the same the next day for five days in the first week. If you need a program, type in five day training split for free online. Choose the first one that comes up because the thing is, if you're a beginner lifter, no matter what you lift, no matter what you do, you are gonna get results. The most important things are that you consistently increase your weight. So after the first week, when you go back, the next week, you lift a little bit heavier, you push a little bit harder and that you fill yourself with calories. If you're a skinny guy, if you're not a skinny guy, that's okay. If you're holding a lot of fat, a lot of that fat's gonna get used up, that extra energy, you don't need to eat so much. But if you're a skinny guy and you struggle to put on weight, you need fucking calories, boy. Eating is a job. You've got to eat daily as much as you can and you need to train hard and that is all you need to do. If you want my program, I've got a very, very good program. It's called the Alpha Male Program. It's included in the Gorilla Tribe. It's the one I currently use. I'll put up a picture of my current physique right now. It's an incredible program. I was literally out of shape a, a week ago. You hop back on this program and train hard as fuck with extra calories coming in and uh, you just blow up like fucking crazy. Like, my body does hurt a lot, it's fucking intense, but it's a five day program. If you boys want that, link's in the description. Go check it out, you get the whole course. Gorilla Tribe programs, accountability, partners through the group, everything. It's very good, check it out below. But that is stage one. Stage number one of self-improvement is to get in shape. Now, some side notes to this, how you would actually go about doing that. You wanna cut out the bad shit. Stop eating fast food, you know it's bad for you. If so, something goes in your mouth and you think, fuck, that was bad for me, stop, stop eating that stuff. It's not good for you. Even if you're not fat, it's not good for your skin, not good for the way you look. If you're smoking cigarettes, you're smoking weed or you're drinking alcohol, any of those, get rid of them. This is stage one of self-improvement. It's the most simple step, but it will open up so many doors in the future because you've got to get your mind right. 
We need to not be fueling ourselves with addictions and we need to be having that endorphin rush of physical exercise to sort us out. So this is ground zero. Sort your physical body out. And I want you to do that for a whole month before you move on to the next stage. So cut out all the shit, get in shape five times a week, one hour sessions, any split you want, any, any training program you want, go and hit it. Now, part number two, where to start with self-improvement as a man, is you need cash flow. Now, majority, I guarantee, the majority of your problems, the majority of your unhappiness is due to low cash, low cash flow, having no money. I understand it. The majority of my problems were through having no money before I had any money. So I understand how it feels. Now, the interesting thing is money is not the be all and end all of the world. There's other things you need to have in line as well. So don't think that money is going to solve all of your problems because it won't. But the money problems, it will solve and they can be some of the most stressful. So Number one is to get cash flow. Now you are thinking probably right now in the wrong terms for, for being a starter in self-improvement. You have been watching a lot of stuff where guys are making a ridiculous amount of money. Come and do this course, make 10K a month. Come do this course, make 20K a month. A lot of these business models work and I'm not saying that these people are scams, but in order to make them work, you need to be often an exceptional businessman. You need to be able to use the program, execute it fully, and to be able to do that, we need to have everything else in check. A lot of business is life. If your life's not in check, your business will fail. If your business is failing, 99% of times you look at the guy and he's fucked up. There's something wrong with him. He's doing something wrong in his personal life that is fucking his business. So I would recommend if you're low cash now, this is exactly what I would do. If I had no money, get your phone out. Go on to Google. Type in sales jobs in my area. Look through. They are some of the best jobs you can ever get because they will shape you as a man. They are self-improvement university for a young man being in sales. They will give you character. They will allow you to take rejection. It is not a fucking dead end job. It is one of the best skills you can possibly learn. That is not failure going to a nine to five to do sales. That is self-improvement. That is like going to university, we're getting paid for it. And the harder you work, the more you get paid. Now, here's a couple things I would look for. If you want to work from home, look for one that does uh, Zoom calls. So a high ticket, for, work for a high ticket coach or mentor. Somebody who sells a high ticket package has a good online presence because that means they're going to be getting floods of leads. And leads are essentially when somebody's inquired about their product. So let's say I've got, well, I've got ment a mentorship package. It doesn't have a sales team, but I have a mentorship package. You can get mentored with me. Links in the description. But let's say I had a sales team. Somebody clicks the lead. Somebody clicks the link. They put their email in, they say, yeah, I'm interested in getting one-to-one -one mentorship with Jack for drinking a lot of alcohol right now and I want Jack to help me stop. No problem, they send that through. I'm making YouTube videos, I'm too busy. So I hire a sales guy on commission and I say to him, all right, Johnny, for every one of those emails that comes through, you're gonna call the number on the email, you're gonna talk them through what the mentorship includes, you're gonna tell them the price and you're gonna sell them the mentorship package. And then I'm gonna do the mentoring now, the mentorship package, let's say is five grand, $5,000. Your commission for selling that Johnny is 20%. So Johnny, for every single one he sells, is gonna make $1,000. Now let's say I'm getting 10 leads through a day, Johnny can close one in five, Johnny's now making two grand a day. That is your fastest way to real, real wealth, is finding a job like that and being a good salesman. Watch my video, What To Do If You're Broke, to find out what you should actually be reading, what reading materials, all that sort of stuff to get into sales, that's more on that side, but you need cash flow. So that, that would be my best bet, is type in sales jobs in my area, look for any of those sorts of online ones that, that are obviously outside of your area, but in your area, look for the ones that are high ticket, you're selling an expensive product, they've got good reviews, the salespeople there have been happy in the past, and go and learn sales somewhere, work your way up and learn sales, because you can use that skill any way you want. So go every single day, do an hour of sending good CVs off, an hour of CVs, get some help with your CV from somebody who you know who is working in a decent job. Don't send off shit, otherwise you're not gonna get anywhere. But yeah, start sending those CVs off. Now, some of you will be too young for that. That is if you're 18 and up, you're out in the world on your own. Some of you are under 18, I understand that, so this is for you. If you're under 18 years old, I would recommend any work that will pay you. Any work at all that will put money in your pocket, because realistically at that age, you don't need that much money. If you're still living at home, still living with your parents, it's just good to get a work ethic. You're not doing this forever. It's a learning experience. 
find the job that will pay you the most amount of money and search every single day for jobs online, jobs in your local area and look at how much they pay you every day. Email them, say you really wanna work for them and find the job that pays you the most money. When I was 18, I had three holidays that I paid for on credit, which meant I couldn't afford to pay them off. I didn't have enough money to pay for the holidays. I'd already booked them and I had credit due. I think it was like two or three thousand dollars worth. And um, I was typing in online. I went, fuck, I, I don't make enough. I was working in a shop at the time and I was making $267 a month, per month. That I was gonna take me a long time to pay off my holidays. So I looked online, where can I find a job that pays me $200 a day? That's what I typed in. $200 a day. First, first one that came up, Cambridge punting. Now, for any of you who don't know, there's a place called Cambridge in England that does these boat tours where you punt along the river and you, you take customers along the river and you show them the tours. And I thought, wow, that sounds fun. That's 45 minutes from my house. I had a car at the time. I'll drive down there, I'll meet the guy, Matt, and I'll see if I can learn. I got down there, they needed punters like crazy because it's a hard job. It's a mile long stretch of river. There's 12 people in your boat. You have a metal pole and you have to push it up and down the river. I didn't care at all. I was like, Matt, I'll learn to do it. I'll learn to do it today, I promise you. And they took me out in the water and they taught me how to do it. it took me like three days of fucking falling in, doing it wrong, trying to learn the tour. I had to memorize the whole tour so I could give a tour to people and show them what I was doing. But after three days, I took my first tour up and down, $20. Next tour, $20. Next tour, $20. And I think on my first day, I earned $120 on the river. And I was like, fuck, oh, yes, I'm, I'm actually gonna be able to pay for this holiday. I need, I need to up the money though a bit. So I started being better on my tours. I started getting tips as well. So I started getting tips. And I was making about $200 a day. At that point, I thought, all right, there's these things called touts, salesmen that are selling the boat tours. They get 35% commission for every boat that gets sent. Now a boat would be about $200 when it was full of 12 people, It'd be about $200 worth of business. So I was like, all right, that's $70 a boat that the tout makes, the, the ticket salesman makes $70 a boat. I make $20 plus tips, about $30 a boat. So after doing about two or three months up and down the river, I said to Matt, look, I don't want to be on the boat anymore. I'm tired. It's hard, hard work. I think I could be a salesman. And I fought to be a salesman. And then I started making $200, $300, $400 every single day out on the river. I didn't have any money. I typed in online how to make money. I went and did it. It took fucking hard graft. I slept in my car outside. It was 45 minutes from my house. I'd go out for drinks after, have some beers, couldn't drive home. I'd just sleep in my car and then go to the gym the next day and shower. When you're a young man, don't be afraid to do this. You should be crazy in your mind. You should be willing to do anything. So that's step number two, get cash flow. When the money flows, the trees grow. I've made that up. When the money flows, you get happier. It's true. Now, once you've got those two down, you've gotten in shape, you're consistently working out now. Your body is getting better and better. You're more and more confident. You've got cash flow. You're either working a job, you're working high ticket sales online, you're working your ass off, but you've got money coming in. You can pay those bills. Now you've got to start thinking, boys, we don't want to stop here. This is where a lot of people get trapped. They find a half decent job, they get in shape, they think it's over, they start spending their money, they start going out, they start spending their disposable income. That's where they get trapped. So this is step number three. We need to come up with a dream. You need to start thinking daily for an hour alone. What do I want from my life? What do I actually want to do? What do I think would make me happy? What would be a cool job? Or what is it that I actually want to do in my life? Then you need to save up to do that. So rather than go out and party, spend your disposable income, what you do is you set some saving, you, you set some savings goals. So you put an amount each month that gets taken out of your account as soon as your paycheck comes in and put away. Because boys, you need money to escape. You need money to escape that life. At the moment, you're very much in the rat race. You've gone from dead broke to in the rat race. Now we're trying to leave the rat race. So what you need to do, I recommend every, every man tries to get $10,000 saved up because that'll buy you time in most places in the world for you to actually think. So whether that takes you one year, two years, three years, doesn't matter. All you need to do is start putting a certain amount of money away. If you can put $500 away, it'll take you a year and a half. If you can put 500 a month away. If you can put 1,000, it'll take you 10 months. And then you've got some time where you can go, oh, what do I actually wanna do? 
So you need to come up with a plan. What do you want from your life? Watch my dream life video, building your dream life video. It's one of my first ever videos. Number five, I think it was. Fifth video I ever did. I'll tell you exactly what visions to do to build your dream life. You wanna do that, go and check it out. It, build your dream life, figure out how much it's gonna cost, figure out what kind of job you wanna do, what does your life need to look like. Now you need to program that into your mind, start saving money so you can make the leap. Now, in the meantime, if you were gonna spend money on anything, spend money on improving yourself. This means books, mentorships, courses, gym memberships, learning to fight, that's a huge one, it give you massive confidence and physicality in life, learning to fight. So if you're gonna spend your money on the way there, if you think that, okay, this saving, saving this, I can only save $100 a month, it's gonna to take too long, I need this to be faster, I'm gonna save $1,000, I'm gonna buy this mentorship or this course, I'm gonna learn a new skill that makes me $1,000 a week, and then I'm gonna get there faster, then do that. But number three is we need a savings plan, we need goals. We need to escape the rat race. And that, my friends, is your beginner's guide. That is exactly where to start. Where do you start in self-improvement? That is exactly what I would do. Step number one to step number three. Now, after step number three, when you have your 10 grand and you want to decide how to level up, there'll be other videos for that. Some of my other videos already talk about things like that. And there'll be things like women. There'll be things like relationships with other men, networking. Watch my other videos for that. But if you don't know where to start in self-improvement, that's your guide. I hope it's helped you boys. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you need more guidance, if you want to boost your testosterone, get those feelings of courage, you want to be able to build muscle naturally without steroids, check out the course below. You get all my training programs, nutrition, supplement super stack, and you get added to Gorilla Tribe. Group of 700 guys, all on self-improvement, trying to elevate. We're in a WhatsApp group together. Everyone helps each other out. Everyone does business together. Everyone supports each other. So boys, if you wanna join, the link's in the description. Apart from that, it's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you boys tomorrow on the next one. Whoop-a, whoop-a, whoop-a!